Hey guys, I realize it's been some time since I've done a video. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to uh, do this video I've been meaning to do for a while. Uh, this video is on the MFT React series Tactical Torch Grip. Um, as you can see, I've got it attached to my High Point 9mm carbine. I'm a big fan of the High Point, um, mainly due to price, and that's actually what attracted me to this torch grip. Um, you can also see at the top there the OTW Red Dot, um, which I know got popular on Amazon for a while among the budget firearms community. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to go into this uh, tack, this this grip in case anybody's considering purchasing one. Um, I've had some interesting interactions with this grip. Um, it it's when attached, it's reasonably solid. Um, as you can see down the the picture down here, um, it, the 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 intended idea is that it holds a flashlight and it does have this little button here and it'll kick on the, the light there it goes and off however i had some kind of some oddities with it um first of all this is a pretty small flashlight this 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 i ended up this flashlight i ended up picking up at uh lowe's typically that's not a place where i would buy a flashlight but um it was it was it was on sale and it was it blinded me in the store when, when i turned it on so i thought maybe it would blind an intruder in case of a self-defense scenario uh, one of the problems you can tell already this is a relatively small flashlight it probably only goes about that far back uh, to where my finger is um, I couldn't get it all the way in the mount um, and that's the second flashlight I tried the the other quote-unquote one inch barrel flashlight fit even less well so this is about as far as I can jam it in um, again like I said it is relatively useful once it's actually been installed it's a nice firm handle a bit of a stippled grip um but it just there was some oddity there with the flashlight um there is a storage area right down here let me try to pull it up there we go and you can just pop that off and i'm actually storing my little high point tool in there uh, it's probably hard to see but I've, I've got my high point tool in there which is it's a perfect little storage area for the high point tool um but and there's one other section here I wanted to show too. So here's the other area um, on, on the other side I wanted to show. One nice feature is it has the, um, in case your flashlight, it has uh, the, 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 the pressure pad, like the palm pressure pad, instead of you wanted to use this switch, um, it has that ability, although the switch is the, pretty much the whole reason I think for most people probably wanting to uh, use this if they have a pressure pad they would probably want to go for some sort of different type of handle um, so I thought that was kind of odd uh, the the other kind of uh, oddity I would say is that or maybe not oddity, just frustration I'm gonna get try to get nice and close here it's it's polymer and as you tighten it down I've never seen anything do this uh, even and I'm, I'm not super experienced so I'm sure somebody else might have but the polymer started I almost tightened it too hard down on that and in fact it's a polymer picatinny rail on the non -ex the, the 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 low cost high point carbine so it's not it's not like i have metal and polymer here it's polymer to polymer and it's still kind of peeling back there a little bit it feels sturdy right now but you can see that that should be seated in there and and it's not so i just wanted to uh go over that uh for for, for everybody there's there's one other section that that i want to show Okay, so for the final kind of oddity, um, I wanted to get in here. So the switch goes through the grip and then operates a switch right here that pushes in, into the back of your, of your light. Um, and you can see I'm going to operate it right now. It's, you can see it kind of moving. What's odd is that the plunger on the switch right there isn't deep enough on this light. There's a couple of other lights I've tried as well to actually operate that button. So I ended up having to put a washer uh, in there. I just ended up just grabbing a washer, priming it, spray painting it black just so there was no shine at weird angles. Um, so I, I just thought that was kind of odd that I'd have to make that modification. It just seems like it's not well thought out. Um, I, I know that this is an inexpensive um, grip, but it, it it just seems kind of clunky. Um, I'm going to go back to the, to the kind of the, the, the view of my carbine here. You, you can kind of see here that it, it, it makes it very large. Uh, on a firearm that's already pretty heavy um, it just kind of adds a lot of extra weight uh, and bulk to the firearm um, again however like like I said it is uh, relatively comfortable 
um, and it does feel sturdy despite that section on the um, uh, despite that section on the uh, on the handle. So anyway, um, just in case anybody's considering buying that, that's the Mission First Tactical React Torch Grip, um, and I, I will post a link to the uh, to to the product on, on this video. Although I I, I can't say that I recommend it. Um, I think there's probably better products out there. I've seen some stuff that has the light just right here with a pick rail uh, right there. Uh, so it seems like you could even add more, like you could put a pick laser on there as well and operate both with your thumb. Also, there's some great ones that support a pressure pad to where you can put your your light along a rail, even on the high point carbine, you, you, you can get like from long shot manufacturing, you can get a rail that goes here, put the light there, um, and then the... Um, the grip is a little bit more functional. I've also seen grips that have that ability and then have a, like a bipod that comes out as well. So I just don't think this, this product fits, uh, I just don't think this, this product fits a need right now. Um, but anyway, I'll, I'll put the link to it. Thanks for watching.